Hi everybody, this is Andreas from UFX Loops and in this tutorial I want to show you creating your own samples for percussion and effects. And you see my sample list is quite empty so I create a new sample with the create sample button and then I choose the import button to find some samples that I prepared, some WAV files. First one is a distress signal and um, sounds interesting I select it and for this sample I choose um, 22k import rate and uh, mono import um, that will be sufficient and you see now in the sample editor you can zoom in with this plus symbol and uh, zoom out again with the minus and you can scroll just by touching that surface and mark a sample by touching the handles the green handles and uh, so um, I edited the start point and chose um, effect as the sample type. Now for the sample name I will choose distress signal and um, type in some little description. I will also edit the categories of the sample that makes it easier for you to find it later. And um, this is um, not an instrument but a sound effect. We have that in the instruments as a category. I put it as sound effects, ambiences and um, cinematic maybe and FX. For the styles this is mainly for loops um, which have a specific style so I will skip that. And for the others I can um, assign certain text to it. And that looks pretty so I save it. And um, there's another button called Source where you can decide about the license of the sample. So for example, if you switch to common zero, you see it automatically enters author and organization because it knows according to the file name that this is a free sound sample. And um, if you put the checkbox sample clearance, that means that you could also upload the sample and allow others to edit it. Um, now we did that and um, have our first nice sample just as an effect. The next sample I want to create is um, some percussion sample. It's a Paiste Crash. And um, for this sample I will import with um, full 44k sample rate but mono. And um, you see it's already perfect. Sample type is percussive and on the sample data tab now we can select which percussive note that is and this is a crash symbol one so we can directly assign it. This helps later when creating instruments. For the instruments we choose symbols acoustic and that's all. We save it. adopt that a bit and uh, save it again where you see you can also save a copy of a sample if you have modified it and want to keep the original. Um, so the next one is um, um, hi-hat which is imported in mono 2 and it's an open hi-hat. Sounds pretty good and um, we do the same with the note key um, by hitting that and um, selecting the open hi-hat from that keyboard layout um, and again assigning uh, symbols acoustic to it. So after a while um, when we created a lot of samples our list um, starts to get bigger. However that was a lot of work um, that's why we created a com community where you can simply log on to um, and listen to sounds that are on the community, search for them and download them by click on the download button and you can rate it and by pressing OK you just downloaded it and uh, you have it in your local sample list and can use it for your own projects.
So you see the little UFX icon there. That's because it's from UFX now. Um, next is creating instruments and we want to create a drum set now um, because we made a lot of drum samples and we want to use them in an instrument. We could also use them directly in, in our slots in the project but um, in an instrument it's nicer because then we can use patterns to play them. So now we fill the drum set notes with our samples. So for example for the kick we select our kick 135. For the snare we could also search for snare and we see we have that custom snare we created and just pick it. So now let's fill the hi-hats and the right symbol too. The closed one and the open one. And these will play nicely later in the patterns. Last for now is the right. We can assign a right bell and a right edge. So that's all for our little trump set. Um, we could assign more nodes, of course, like toms or side sticks, claps, and so on. But for our first drum set, that should be enough. And now let's create a project where we finally use our drum set as an instrument. And you see with the grid buttons, you can choose how many grid buttons in X and Y direction you will have. Four is the default, which looks quite nice, but maybe sometimes you need more or less buttons. The rec is the horizontal line of buttons, which you can give a name, and for each slot you can assign a slot name and make it looped. And now we start creating a pattern for drums. So we select the drums. Um, at first we select an instrument, which is our demo drums, and now just by clicking into the pattern editor and selecting some notes, um, you see the most bottom line is the kick and uh, the second one is the snare and um, that already plays quite well. Um, however, if we want to decide about uh, different volume levels for um, different notes, we just can mark these um, PP and P and F um, buttons and uh, draw our notes according to the selected ones. Um, that's a one bar pattern, should be enough for now. And we just save it and then it's in our list. And it, you see you can assign as many patterns as you like in one slot. But for now we only assign the um, bass and snare drum in one slot and the cymbals in the other slots so we can play them separately and mix them like, like we want. So next thing is we want to build a hi-hat pattern with the second slot. So we click on that one and uh, make it looped again. It should be a one bar pattern and select the drums button again as a sample and slot and um, we select um, the symbol section and select instrument and pick our demo drums which also contains the symbols and now you see on the second line we enter the closed hi-hat um, a simple rhythm and on the third line from bottom we enter the open hi-hat and uh, that's simple enough and um, we even could mix that with our drum section and play it together but, but as I mentioned before we want to stick with the hi-hats only on, on that pattern 
So um, we have separated slots for the cymbals and the drums. So when we save this, you see I also made a, a right slot. That's your homework. And um, that one is also quite simple, just a four bar, um, uh, four beat hi-hat. Um, with the bell on beat one and now we want to mix the slots and you see we could do that in the mixer but as this is a drum set instrument it's better to pre-mix that instrument so um, just go into the instrument and um, for example scroll down to the hi-hat section and um, um, for example you want to have the hi-hats more on the left side of the stereo pan so um, we put it a bit on the left side and also um, reduce volume a bit so the heads don't come into um, annoying and when you're confident with it um, just go back it's automatically saved don't worry about it and for your final mix you can still use the mixer tab in your project Now there's one last thing I want to show you for this tutorial and this is we will add one last slot for the crash symbol and we won't use the drum set just to demo how you can also add samples alone without using an instrument and then directly select sample and now we can pick any sample and we search for the crash select it and when we click on it we can edit um, how many times in how many loops it is played and how many bars it has and so on and we will set it to um, four slot bars with uh, four total loop bars in this slot bars and um, the note length is also four bars um, oh I set it to one bar now so um, you will hear it, it comes every bar but now I change it to four bars and I also change the pitch to um, plus one semi note and um, that um, will just pitch the crash symbol a bit up that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching and in the next tutorial we will have a look at the melodic stuff and the loops in UFX loops see you